Here we are, it's election 2016, and Republicans and Democrats are both fighting for their place here at the White House. But some Americans are not too pleased with the two parties' presidential choices. <laughs> Trump's unfavorability rating is 61.5%, while Clinton's is 53.5%. So either way, the candidates are not really feeling the love. Where did she go? Where did Hillary go? Donald Trump cannot do the job. Americans are asking themselves, are these two really our only options? The answer is no. In fact, we're just now seeing the rise of third party candidates like Libertarian Gary Johnson and Green Party's Jill Stein. So that's against the rules and you can't sit with us. Whatever, those rules aren't real. You can't sit with us! So why does it seem that systematically we can only really choose between Democrats and Republicans? Here's why. There's something called Diverger's Law which says that in a system where voters pick one person to fill one seat, the party with most of the votes gets all of the power. In our system, parties have an incentive to gain as many voters as possible. So that's where you see some groups team up with similar groups in order to strengthen their chance at victory. And this wouldn't form just one party because then there would be no elections. Also, naturally, someone is going to contest from the outside, hence the creation of two parties. So on a national scale and with a two-party system, you need to get a majority of support in a district to gain any power at all. So if you support a third party candidate who can get 20% of support, which is still a very good amount of support, it still could feel like it's not enough, which has left voters frustrated with the entire system. <laughs> <laughs> this electoral system isn't outlined in the U.S. Constitution, so it can be changed without going against the ultimate law of the land. And that's what you need to know.